Hey and welcome back. How about this for a film title? The Day the Earth Lost 11 Days. <laughs> or in 18th century, there was riots in England when British people believed that Europeans were stealing their lives. All true and all connected to this. The Leap Year. So what exactly is a leap year? Well, it's an extra day on February every four years. But why do we need it? Well, look at this. The Earth simply doesn't go round the sun every 365 days. It's a bit out. And that's compensated every four years by adding an extra day to the end of February. And that means the seasons don't slowly drift. And that's what would happen if we didn't have a leap year. So did you know that we actually need two different types of leap year? One that we have every four years, coming up this year, extra day in February. But every hundred years, we have to have an extra day. Because the leap year every four years does a tweak, but doesn't correct for the seasonal drift. What calendar makers are desperately trying to do is to sell you calendars with dogs on them. No, no, they're trying to have 365 days in every year. And every 100 years, you have to add a whole day. I really didn't know that. The calendar we use today is called the Hallmark calendar. No, 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 it's not. It's called the Julian calendar after Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar was so powerful as a head of a strong Roman Empire, he could impose a calendar on the world. But the rest of the world didn't really adopt it very quickly. There's this great story how Emperor Napoleon and Russia were going to have one of these set battles where they would fight it out on Tuesday. They turned up and they weren't there. <laughs> Well, one side was there, the other side thought it was Wednesday. <laughs> so it was a big problem. And in Britain, there were riots in the street when British people saw the European Treaty of Rome stealing 11 days from their lives. I see nothing's changed. <laughs> Good on British people. You know where the real trouble lies. But today, there might be big changes afoot. Have you ever worked in a business and had week numbers so you know that your production cycle has to be completed by week 14? And there's obviously one to week 52 in the year. Well, there isn't. Every few years, companies have to add week 53. I didn't really know that. I guess they just didn't pay me. <laughs> in a great story, Apple, last time they added week 53 to compensate for the week 52 issue. I didn't even know there was one, but anyway. The week 53 was added, and that year, they actually increased their stocks and shares because they made more profit in the extra week. Makes sense. But that issue is why things might be changing. So a couple of researchers from a large American university. Now, why am I saying that and not actually naming the large American university? And th this is an aside, but it's yet another example of the modern world that I didn't know. So the story about the leap year is a great story. It's beautifully written, I think. Think, and I'll get on to why, in the Washington Post. I live in France, and the Washington Post won't allow people outside of the United States 
to read the full article under European law <laughs> because European law don't like people in America collecting data cookies because I read the article they block well the Washington Post block Europeans from reading the newspaper so I think it's Princeton I can't really research it anymore because under law, I can't look at all the American data because they collect data on me and I'm a European. <sighs> Welcome to 2020. Well, maybe it won't be 2020 anymore. These two guys, Princeton, I think, are going to the White House. Wait for this. This is just the kicker at the end. They're going to the White House to persuade Donald Trump, who does have supposedly the power to adopt a new calendar. And they've come up with this idea of a calendar that is perpetual. Hallmark will hate it. It means your birthday will be on the same day of the week, every day for the rest of your life. And holidays, it's turned out, when they've worked it out, will always be on a Monday. So a national holiday won't be on a Wednesday, messing up the work week. It'll just be on a Monday, so it'll be a three-day weekend. Sounds a great plan. And they are going to push it for Donald Trump to sign an executive order to come up with this business calendar that they want America to adopt and hopefully it will spread to the rest of the world. But that's not going to happen, is it? Oh, it might. They have a plan. Remember I said that we're currently in the Julian calendar? Julian, Julius Caesar. So these two researchers are going to lobby for their business calendar to be adopted. And the amazing thing is, it will be called the Donald Trump calendar for the rest of time. The truth is on your wall.